All right, we just uh, decided for argument, we're going to try to fit the 35s just for argument, and we're going to turn the wheel into just to check to see if you can actually put a 35 on a stock 2500 HD. Welcome back to Over the Hill Adventures. Today, we are going to try to fit the largest tire we possibly can on our 2022 um, Chevy Silverado HD 2500 Duramax. Um, Editing is a wonderful thing. And so, we're here with Bob from Elite Mobile Tire Service from Havasu. And you guys, this is extremely important. When you guys are rolling through um, the needles area, through the 40, you guys got to think about if you do have a blowout on your RV, think mobile service. And these guys, you guys respond to yep. uh, any emergencies and stuff like that. And we're going to put in the description uh, their number, phone number, so you can uh, reach Bob. And they will come out and change your tires right on the road if they can, you yep, know? Absolutely. Because we hear all the stories about the trailers having their blowouts, the West Lakes China bombs, we've heard them all. Um, Bob's got experience with the West Lakes, um, so make sure you make that a point. But today we're going to try to fit what the biggest tire. So we're going to we we've already decided that the 35 inch tires are not going to fit. So take a look at that. That is just way too big. And, and remember, we're trying to do this on a stock, totally stock, stock rim, stock suspension. And so the next one we're going to try is the needle ridge grappler. Uh, is that right? Yep. Ridge grappler, and that is a 34-inch tire, and they're pretty confident we could probably make pick that fit. So we're yep. gonna we're gonna fit test these, and we're gonna let you know what works. All right, we just uh, decided for argument, we're gonna try to fit the 35s just for argument, and we're gonna turn the wheel into just to check to see if you can actually put a 35 on a stock 2500 HD. That's an interesting look, isn't it? It fills her up. Oh my gosh. Let me, let me go around in here. It's yeah. so dark. I don't know how. Now it's only your moment of truth here. We're going to do the turn test. Turn <laughs> test. Turn test. Do you want to roll forward first? I want the simple suspension. Oh, I'm losing that. Pull forward about four feet and back it up. It lets that front suspension settle. Go, go forward first and then back back up to this position. It brings that suspension back down from us jacking it up. We didn't go up all the way back pressure yet. Alright, now you're good now. Now turn me a full left, full left corner. That's it. That's it. Keep going. Can you go anymore? Cleared it all. Now this way. You cleared it? Yeah. Bam, baby. You can go 35s if you want. <laughs> what? I don't expect to be cleared. <laughs> I'll turn it for you. Watch it back here. That's got, they cleared nicely. That's got plenty of room. I don't know if it's picking it up because it's so dark. Now you gotta know, is that 
way you know, you can make up your mind which way you want to go. <laughs> All right, guys. This is the moment of truth. <laughs> so, Bob, what is the exact size of this tire? So it's a 35, 12, 50, 17. And what it equates for diameter, it's about 34.8, so it's just right. under a 35. But it's still 12 and a half inches thick. Yep. So guys, you can fit a 35 inch tire on your stock Z71. Now Z71 might yep. make a difference, but on your stock 2022, 2500 HD Duramax turbo diesel. It fits. Yep. But now the question is, is that what I want to do? <laughs> That's it. Yeah. That is a lot of lot of tire. And I think uh, I'm scared of the 35s. I, yeah, I now that I know this fits mm -hmm. and that you all can put it on there. I think I'm going to go with the 305s. Yep. I think that's probably the best decision. Um, it's not that drastic of a change. It definitely makes the truck look way bigger. Oh, yeah. My, my truck is like this now. And so, there you go. Mid test. You guys, we went with the Nito Ridge Grapplers 30570 R17 is the size I went with. And we already showed you that you can actually put a 35 inch tire, 12 and a half wide, and we showed you that it does not rub or anything. I chose not to go that, that, that high and that wide. Um, not because it didn't fit, it fit, but I just, just felt like I needed just a little bit room and, and just in case of the travel. So, stock height, this does not have a leveling kit, stock rims, and we were able to put a 34 inch tire, with no problem. We were able to put a 35 inch tire, no problem. So if you're asking yourself, can I put a 35 inch tire? You can put a 35 inch, 35 inch by 12 and a half by 17, no problem on a stock height truck with stock rims and you won't have any problems whatsoever, no rub whatsoever. I went with a just a little bit smaller, half inch on both sides, just went with the 34s and they look fantastic. The ride is incredible. So there you go, stock height, stock rims on a 2022 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD Z71 Duramax Turbo Diesel. Until the next time.